The first camera that I ever owned was a little Nikon point and shoot. So I was mucking around in my parents' bedroom and stumbled across this little camera, put batteries in it, it lit up and worked. So I went and grabbed a little roll of film and took it to school and just started documenting the things that happened. And now that I look back on those images, I can kind of see the seed that it planted in me to want to do photography later in life. I'm Ben Whitmore and I'm a wedding photographer based on the Gold Coast in Queensland. People often ask me what's the most weird or bizarre wedding that I've done and I guess for me there aren't really any bizarre or weird weddings. Being charged with documenting someone's wedding day is something that's really serious and important to me. As with anything in photography you really get one shot at any particular moment. I'd, I'm never going to restage it, a couple's never going to restage it and even if they did it would never be the same as that organic moment. I'm definitely not a bossy photographer. If I could plan my perfect wedding it would simply be me as a fly on the wall, not bossing anyone around, not directing too much and just kind of telling the story as it unfolds. I really like to have a bit of a banter with my couples and I guess just develop a bit of a friendship as well so that when we all leave it's, it's not just all about business and work, that there's a personal element to our relationship as well. My first real introduction to full-time media was the job at Trax Magazine, which at the time was Australia's premier surfing magazine. So for me, it was a dream job. I packed up my whole life on the Gold Coast and moved down to Sydney to work with Trax, where I was writing, I was producing movies, I was commissioning trips to photographers, to writers, uh, commissioning to videographers to make videos for us, as well as producing online content, as well as magazine content. Looking back, I'm really grateful for my time at magazines because I got to spend a lot of time with some of the best photographers in the world. We go on trips together for three or four months at a time and I got to really just delve in deep with them about practical skills with photography and I guess just see how they operate. I guess my experience as a journalist has just taught me to be able to anticipate moments that are going to happen. So when I go to a wedding, I'm really just keeping an eye out for not just the story about you and your partner getting married, but the story about you and your relationships with your family, your friends, the, the different people that kind of come from overseas and everyone that really makes the story of your wedding day. What makes photography so great is that every photographer has their own unique take on the world and their own specific style. I guess the key element for me is always light. So light will always make any location and the rest of it for me is secondary. As long as there's good light there, there's always something that you can do. For a wedding photographer, South East Queensland is probably about the best place I can think of to shoot. Every location is different and I'm happy to work with a couple with any location that they want to shoot in or if they don't really have an idea or they don't think there's anything available. There's definitely a lot of moving parts to a wedding for a photographer. There's the pre-production and just getting everything ready for a wedding, making sure that you've got backup equipment. There's obviously the shooting on the day and then there's the post-production phase. So when I get home from any wedding, I back up the photos to a bunch of different hard drives so they're safe and we start the edit, which means culling all those images of your great auntie or uncle eating a steak or blinking or any of the weird photos that you're never going to want to see, and then starting to colour grade and just create the same atmosphere as your wedding as what you witnessed on the day. I really look forward to working with you and your partner on your wedding day to not only document it, but to help you relive it for years to come.